And number 10, no reinstatement if unauthorized employment. So this is something important to know. If you had someone here on an I-20 study on F1 student visa, um, it is a thing called reinstatement. So if they drop out, they don't get the grades, their, their unit level goes below the required amount, um, they get kicked out. There's a reinstatement process, which takes too long. It's kind of too annoying. Some is better just to get a new I-20 and go and come back in. But you could potentially do a reinstatement. There's benefits to reinstatement with regards to how soon you get CPT or OPT. Whereas if you leave at a new I-20 and come back, it resets the clock for getting um, work option benefits. But importantly, um, what happens is if you do unauthorized employment, and that's the reason why there's a violation, you cannot do reinstatement. Reinstatement does not cover unauthorized employment. If you do that, you got to leave and, and get a new I-20 and, and come back in with the new I-20 to restart your student visa process. But as I said, uh, there's things like CPT, which generally require you to have a one year of study before you get it. Although there's first day CPT as well, this, this means there's exceptions to it. Um, but you know, if it could be delays for OPT as well for graduation, all this kind of stuff, it becomes a mess. So uh, be mindful that you cannot do reinstatement if uh, the reason for the violation was was unauthorized employment. And this pops up a lot because a lot of people, um, students, they do CPT, they don't know when CPT ends, they don't pay attention, they work too much, and then it becomes a problem, they go past the date.